Hey guys, welcome to new computer vision and AI tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to do post detection using the uh, Yellow V8 module. So Yellow V8 is a model released by Ultralictis and this model is then fast and accurate. So we'll be looking at how we can easily implement um, post detection using this particular Yellow V8 model. In some of my past tutorials, I show you how to implement post detection using MediaPipe, and we even build a personal AI trainer based on the MediaPipe implementation. In this particular one, we'll just learn how to do the post detection using uh, the Yellow V8. And trust me, this is much simpler than you think. We are not going to write a whole lot of code, just some three, four, five lines of code, and we can implement this. So um, let's get started by installing the library we will use and let's get this implemented as soon as possible. Alrighty, so the first thing we we'll go ahead and do now is to install the library. So we install the Ultralitis library because um, they are the people, they are the brain behind the Yolo V8 model. They are doing a great and fantastic job making computer vision applications much easier to build. So we'll type in pip install Ultralitis and just have to hit enter on that and this will go ahead and install it for you I have already installed this so my requirements are all satisfied I'll first off uh, clear the terminal here and since we'll be using YOLO V8 we have to go ahead and import uh, YOLO from this particular library we've installed so we just start from Ultralitis we are going to import YOLO ok so that's it So so now after importing this particular um, YOLO model, we have to go ahead and choose the model for the post detection that we want. So um, we can see our model is equal to YOLO. So we create an instance of the YOLO we are importing here. And in here we have to specify that we are going to uh, create a post detection pipeline. There are other pipelines you can use or other models you can use to be more specific. You can use segmentation models, detection models, classification models, but in this case we are doing post detection. So um, you just have to type the name here, which is YOLO V8 post dot uh, pt. So you can see it here. I have it here because uh, I've run this script, and whenever you run this script, you just go ahead and download this model for you. So make sure that if this is your first time running this code um, you got to have internet connection or you have internet access because it will go ahead and download this particular post model for you so um, i should add the end here the end here means that this is the smaller model the nano model you can uh, substitute it with m and you are using the medium and you have l which is the large model so we will use the nano model because this particular computer i'm using here has no graphics card so um the frames will be slow when i use the medium or the large model but if you have gpu installed in your computer you can feel free and go ahead and use the large or the medium which will give you accurate uh, post detection but there is trade-off between accuracy and speed when you are using the bigger models okay so that is it so now after um getting our model we just have to store um uh, is in our results and we can see our model now and all we will give it is a source so um, our source will be equal to so we can add put zero here that means we want to use our webcam so that's it in case you have any video file you want to run on it then instead of zero you can just uh, type in the name of your video file so you can do video.mp4 mp4 that's if you're having a video file but in this case i'm running it live from my webcam so i don't have to do that i just have to put zero there so that it will take my source camera okay we can also specify the confidence how good should it detect and i will set this to 50 percent which is 0.5 you have to also write show equals true so that you can be able to see your frame okay so these are the parameters we need to specify into our model to get it working so this is all we need just three lines of code and this will just start off performing post detection so let's test this out then um, we'll further learn how to save a frame 
I'm gonna run this now and here we go so you can see post detection uh, being implemented live you can see how it's detecting me um, this is nice let's see so um, let me go back a little bit and still it's detecting nicely so um, that's it with only few lines of code this is looking nice uh, I think I can go further back next time it looks great so let me come back okay guys so this is working greatly and you only need only few lines of code to implement this so you can see how great it is test this and that's it so what if you want to save this uh, particular video to show off with your friends or save it to post on your social media to see how great ultra analytics is uh, to see the great works of Travis is doing um, in making this simple for everyone to use, you are, can specify another uh, parameter here called save equals true. And when you run it, this will go ahead and create a self folder called runs here and it, it will save uh, your particular video feed. So I'm just going to run that for a short period of time and we'll see how it saves it. So it, here are we once again is detecting it accurately but this time around we expect it to save the video for us so um i can now get rid of this and you can see a new folder has been created here we'll go into that directory and you can see the video saved here so you can go ahead and play this video or uh, use it to your advantage in how you want it okay so that's how easy it is to implement uh, post detection using Glory. guys let me have your feedback in the uh comment section there and also uh, you can do video suggestion which project you are working on let me know so that we can work together also if today is your first time make sure you subscribe to the channel you keep uh, the notification bell active and also share this content with any other or <laughs> even your friends so that they can also uh, subscribe and we learn together thanks for watching and as usual i will see you in the next tutorial